I'll be talking about why we act. Why do we do this game? This game called the play. Uh, why is this game so important that uh, it has become uh, the most expensive game, the most uh, uh, sought after game by the industry? You know, it's now become, I believe, uh, more uh, successful than the uh, machine shop. What the world over? The world over. Millions of young people are getting attracted to this game and we see young people giving up uh, all sorts of professions and coming into this profession of acting. Uh, it's uh, truly amazing. Uh, this is a very old game. We don't know but it is probably older than what we call the language. Which means, even before we knew how to speak, we were already playing this game. In this game, we, uh, we have a certain rules. And this rule says that uh, you don't be yourself. You know? And after you have been somebody, after you have been not yourself, uh, you are given in this game uh, lines that uh, somebody else has written, you are given some costumes or the dress which is not your dress, you are made up as somebody else, um, the space on which you are performing is not your house, not your school, not your uh, workspace. It's in fact a no man's land. And then there are people sitting in front of you. They're watching you. So almost everything is unnatural. Everything about uh, theatre is unnatural. Everything about theatre is in fact false. Theatre starts with falsehood. Falsehood is the basis on which theatre is constructed. Why do we do this? Why do we create an entire base of false falsehood? We do that so that you can uh, get out of yourself. Because Yourself is real. You are real. Your uh, social system is real. You are uh, uh, being uh, somebody is real. So in order to separate you from your reality, we provide these false things. Or why does this game make you transcend these realities? Because that's how you can reach truth. Meaning, that's how you can uh, see larger things which you can't see. You know, we are like, uh, like a frog in the well. Normally, in a day-to-day -day life, uh, uh, you know, you are, you are a frog in the well. This frog in the well cannot get out of the well. You know, nobody has put you into that well. Nobody has dropped that frog into the well. The well is its world. And yet the frog has to know that this is not the only world. There are worlds beyond and there are linkages and I am living in a much larger world. And when you know that, you are a better frog. The relationship between falsehood and truth is very fundamental to theatre. Actors should understand this relationship. Actors should understand that first of all, this falsehood 
this very uncomfortable position, this terribly uncomfortable position that they have on the first day of the rehearsal is their own making. They have made it, the director has made it, the playwright has made it, only so that you can transcend yourself. The problem of an actor is, he or she should know how to handle a problem that he or she has created for themselves, so that they can transcend. The actor should realize that on the first day, everything is false, everything is mechanical, everything is hopeless. And if they are not able to handle it, good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the fact that you are not able to handle it. Accept that it is mechanical. Accept that you are not acting well. Don't pretend to act on the first day. A bad actor is somebody who tries to act very well on the first day, which means he is pretending to act. Any actor who acts very well on the first day is a bad actor. The first day, it's all wrong. It's all in pieces strewn around you. because it's been given to you. The process of the rehearsal, which you go through and a lot of others like you go through, is very crucial. In an actor's life, rehearsal is the most important thing. In fact, it is more important than the show, you know. It's in the rehearsal that you become what you want to become. It's in the process of the rehearsal that you become what you become. The performance happens because it is, there is so much of discipline, there is so much of organization, there is so much of uh, thought and work that has gone into the rehearsals, that it will happen. The only uh, suspense that is provided in the show is the audience. In fact, you should think of the audience as being provided to you as a friend. In Indian uh, theatre, there is a beautiful word for the audience, they are called Sahradaya, you know, of the same heart. So treat the audience as somebody with the same heart, who empathizes with you, who have come to appreciate you, they have not come to scare you, they have not come to uh, make you defeated. They have come to make you win and they want to enjoy how you, the, they want to enjoy the process of how you win. The actor has to understand that uh, this hopeless mechanical uh, thing that exists in the beginning is given to them and he should accept it or she should accept it and two, the audience who are given to them on the day of the show are there to support him, to help him or help her. These are the two things which we should understand.